My name is Dr. Robert Emery. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon in Washington, D.C. And today I'm going to be talking to you about immediate implant placement using the X-Guide. This is a 91-year-old male with discomfort in the right posterior mandible. You can see his periodontal disease, periodontal abscess in tooth number 30. Got caries, tooth number 30, furcation defect 3031, and periodontal disease in both. He also has a fractured bridge in the maxilla in area 3 through 5. Of significance is his issues with compliance. He has a difficult time getting to the dentist and would like to take care of treatment as expeditiously as possible. His family was with him and everybody agreed to have everything done on the same day. So the plan was to take a CBCT with an X clip, take an intraoral scan using an iTero scanner, and plan the case and then execute all on the same day. Extractions 3031, uh, an immediate implant placement using the X guide and PRF with bone grafting. These are the planning screens. You can see the CBCT has been taken with the X clip on the left screen and the map is being arched. Uh, is being, the arch is being mapped. On the right screen you can see the uh, mandible or inferior alveolar nerve is being mapped. Next we superimpose the intraoral scan onto the DICOM file and you can see that at least three points need to be used. The right screen, we're putting a virtual implant into tooth number 29 for paralleling purposes only. We are not going to be placing an implant there. We then plan teeth number 3031, again using the align tools. You'll see uh, we first align implant number 30 to 29 and then 31 to 30. Using the intraoral scans, we can see exquisite detail in all our images. This is an occlusal view of the final plan. The patient went to the uh, operating room, the implants were placed, and these are post-op images. Uh, we've superimposed virtual uh, implants on top of the actual images placed, and you can see that the bone graft was done as well. How did we do? The pre-op images are on the left screen and the post-op images are on your right. Our mean angular deviation was 2.1 degrees, our entry point 0.5, and our apical 0.8. Again, you can see the uh, efficiency, the accuracy, and the precision of the X guide in everyday use. Thank you very much. If there are any questions, feel free to contact XNAV at wwwx navtech.com or myself at the above email address.